Today, we're diving into a significant development in American politics involving Representative Anna Paulina Luna's recent actions and statements. This topic has been making waves across various media platforms, and we're here to break it down for you. Representative Anna Paulina Luna, a Republican from Florida, has notified her colleagues that she plans to force a vote to compel the House Sergeant at Arms to arrest Attorney General Merrick Garland. Luna's move comes as a response to Garland's refusal to comply with a subpoena issued by the House. She argues that the only way to ensure compliance is to use the constitutional authority of inherent contempt. In her letter to fellow House members, Luna emphasized the importance of this action to protect the integrity and independence of the legislative branch. She stated, The only option to ensure compliance with our subpoena is to use our constitutional authority of inherent contempt. This statement underscores the gravity of the situation and Luna's commitment to seeing it through. House Republicans had already voted to hold Garland in criminal contempt for not turning over audio of special counsel Robert Hur's interview with President Joe Biden. However, Luna believes that inherent contempt, which involves a trial before the House and potential detention, is a more effective measure. This maneuver is rare and hasn't been successfully used since 1934, making it a bold move on Luna's part. Fox News provided an explanation of inherent contempt, noting that it allows Congress to fulfill its legislative functions by detaining individuals who refuse to comply with subpoenas. This power, while broad, is necessary for maintaining the legislative process's integrity. Luna's resolution, if passed, could force Garland to stand trial before the House and potentially lead to his detention by the House Sergeant-at-Arms. In addition to her actions regarding Garland, Luna has also been vocal about other political issues. Recently, she appeared on Fox News with Jesse Waters, discussing rumors that President Joe Biden might not be the Democratic nominee for the upcoming election. Luna claimed that there are discussions on Capitol Hill suggesting Biden's replacement, indicating a lack of confidence in his re-election prospects. Luna's statements on Fox News reflect her belief that the Democratic Party is aware of its precarious position and is considering alternative candidates, such as California Governor Gavin Newsom. She also mentioned that Vice President Kamala Harris might be eyeing a run for California governor, further fueling speculation about the Democratic ticket's future. During her interview with Waters, Luna highlighted the Republican perspective on the current political climate, noting that the party is often painted as anti-woman due to its stance on abortion. However, she argued that this issue is a matter of state rights and that the American people are aware of this distinction. Luna's comments reflect the broader Republican strategy to shift the narrative around key issues leading up to the election. The situation surrounding Merrick Garland and the potential inherent contempt vote is complex and unprecedented in modern times. It raises questions about the balance of power between the legislative and executive branches and the lengths to which Congress can go to enforce compliance with its subpoenas. Luna's actions demonstrate a willingness to use every tool at her disposal to achieve this goal. Now, let's take a look at some tweets and social media reactions to these developments. The responses have been varied, with some praising Luna for her bold stance and others criticizing her for escalating tensions. For instance, one tweet from a political commentator stated, Rep, Luna's move is a necessary step to hold the executive branch accountable. We need more leaders like her. On the other hand, a tweet from a legal expert read, Using inherent contempt is a drastic measure that could have significant repercussions. This should be approached with caution. These reactions highlight the divisive nature of Luna's actions and the broader political implications they carry. As this story continues to unfold, it will be crucial to monitor how both the public and political figures respond. Let's address some questions that might be on your mind regarding the situation. What is inherent contempt, and how does it differ from criminal contempt? Why is Representative Anna Paulina Luna pushing for this vote now? What are the potential consequences if the House votes to hold Garland in inherent contempt? How likely is it that the House will pass Luna's resolution? What are the historical precedents for using inherent contempt? How has Merrick Garland responded to these actions? What are the broader implications for the relationship between Congress and the executive branch? How have other members of Congress reacted to Luna's proposal? What impact could this have on the upcoming election? 
How does this fit into the larger context of Republican strategies leading up to the election? These questions help us understand the complexities and potential outcomes of Luna's actions. As this situation evolves, we can expect further developments and reactions from various political figures and the public. In conclusion, Representative Anna Paulina Luna's decision to push for an inherent contempt vote against Attorney General Merrick Garland is a significant and bold move. It highlights the ongoing tensions between the legislative and executive branches and raises important questions about the balance of power in American politics. As we continue to follow this story, it's essential to stay informed and understand the broader implications. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other trending news topics. Stay tuned.